Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and I'm starting with the winter tutorials with these big snowflakes earrings. They're easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make it by yourself and I'm using really simple stuff, only seed beads and regular ear wires. You see uh, when I used uh, this the same pattern in a bracelet and you see when you change colors how everything changes beyond recognition. One of you, my bidding friends, reminded me on Facebook that I could turn this bracelet into snowflakes and you see how colors change everything beyond recognition. Okay, so if you like what I'm showing you here and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for paypal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching now i will start with the list of the material okay guys so what i'm using for this video are three colors of 11 o seed beads you could use 10 o seed beads if you want these are ear wires and this is fire line that is 0.17 uh, millimeters but you could use 0.15 or you could use monofilament or other beading thread of your choice. This is size 10 beading needle and scissors. And now I'm going to put about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back. And what I'm going to take now are 12 beads, 6 uh, blue and 6 silver. Okay, and now I have 12 beads here. You see 12 beads, 6 silver and 6 blue. And I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat. And here I'm going to make a knot. Okay, and I'm making my knot by making a loop and going twice through this, twice through this loop I've made. And now I'm going to make one more knot here. And I'm going to pull. Okay, now I have this. And I will go here through some beads in this direction. I will go through this silver bead. And as I'm exiting from this silver, I'm going to take three more silvers like this and go back in circle through it. Then I'm going through the blue and my goal is to exit out of the following silver. And I'm going to take three silver beads and go back through this silver. Okay, then in the next silver, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, now I have this and now I'm going through this silver one here. Okay, then I'm going here at the top of my four beads. Okay, and here I prefer to flip my work because it's easier for me to work in this direction. It's always easier for me to do this. Okay, and now I'm going to take two white beads one blue and two white beads okay and i will go through the following bead that's sticking out like this 
then again two whites one black and two whites going through the following two whites one black two whites And I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay, and now my goal is to exit out of this blue one. And I'm going to take three blue beads, one silver and three blue beads, just like that. And I'm going through the following blue one, okay. Then again, three blue beads, one silver and three blue beads, like that. Go through the following blue. And I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, and now this is what I have. And in my next step, my goal is to exit out of this silver. And here I need three silver beads. I'm going back in circle through this silver. Then I will go through my following two beads. Like this. And I'm going to take a silver, a white, and a silver, okay, like this. And I will go through these two black, two blue beads that are before my, my silver here. And then I'm exiting out of the silver. And I will take three more silvers and go back through this silver. Then again, I repeat what I do. Go through the following two blue beads and take silver, white and silver. Okay. Go through these two that are on my way and also through the silver if you can do this in one movement. And I need three silvers. And I'm going here through the silver and through the following two beads and then a silver, a white and a silver. And now guys, I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. And I'm sure you will be able to do this by yourself and then I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and I'm here where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. Okay, and what I want to do is go through all of those beads and exit out of this white one. And now I'm going to take three white beads and I will go back in circle through this white here. And this will be my last row, okay? I will be aiming for the white beads and adding three more beads around them, making a cross of four beads called right angle weave. Okay, now here three beads, two, 
and I'm aiming for my next white bead. Three whites. And this is what I'm gonna be doing until the end of this row. And when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. And as I'm exiting out of this angle bead, I'm going to take my ear wire. I will take one seed bead, then my ear wire, then one more seed bead. So this is what I have on my needle. And I will go back in circle through this white bead. Okay, like that. And then guys, I'm going to reinforce this joint here. Okay guys, and now I'm here. And what comes next is to make a knot and cut my thread. So I'm making a loop going twice through this loop I've made, I pull, then what I want to do is go through the following seed bead, and now I will cut my thread, and now my big snowflake earring is ready. Hey yeah, guys, and now my snowflake beaded earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find full list of my materials, links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.